The bottom of the pan, which we're going to roast the the turkey on, mm -hmm. uh, needs to have kind of like a mirepoix. And a mirepoix is uh, classically uh, onions, carrots, and celery. But this is only for the bottom of the pan so that the turkey rests and has something that doesn't burn. I'll put the vegetables here. Mm -hmm. I'll put the bird on top of this roasting rack. Mm -hmm. And it will have some air to circulate so it cooks through. But right. also all the juices will fall onto these roasting vegetables. Beautiful. And then we can use that to make this, the sauce. Rubber gloves are always important. Okay, we got those. We can start by discussing the items that we have here in the menu. We'll go through really quick. We've got the turkey. It's gonna be with some fresh chopped herbs, a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and we're gonna bake it. And then uh, we're gonna do a sausage and chestnut stuffing. These whole chestnuts um, you can buy in a jar like this. They're really good because chestnuts obviously are seasonal, and uh, but these are really, really good. These are French vacuum packed chestnuts. You can get a stuffing mix, which I've got to make it really easy on you. You can certainly take uh, two day, three day old bread and dice it up small. And then you'll add some poultry seasoning, um, some butter. It's always good to have chicken stock. Buy the chicken stock, it's fine. Just get one that's really low in sodium. We're gonna do some heavy covert French beans. Heavy covert is a French term for French beans. We'll add some baby carrots. We're gonna make some mashed potato. These are Yukon Golds. And we're gonna put the potatoes, we're gonna cook them just in water, and then finish them up with heavy cream and lots of butter. This is European style Pluger butter, which is the best. See, preferred by leading chefs, Pluger. Always, butter is always unsalted, always. And we got a variety of mushrooms that we bought. We got buttons, portobellos, and these baby portobellos. Garnet yams, which we're gonna do, sweet potato puree, just like mash. I got some fresh herbs, tomatoes maybe for a salad, some nice buttered corn. We'll cook the butter, uh, we'll cook the corn in with butter. I mean a lot of butter, okay? So let's get started here. Let's get this bird. One of the first things you wanna do with the turkey is you wanna take it out of the package and you want to rinse the turkey off. You see all the blood in there? You wanna rinse the, you wanna rinse that off. Pull this out. Here you're using cold water, really important. You don't want to be using hot water to cook the turkey. So what we want to do is pull this neck out. Wow. And this will be part of the sauce. Turn it over, just drain a little water. Liver, heart, kidneys. Let's put the bird inside of there. Okay, so here we go. We're going to turn the oven on because we want to preheat the oven. We're going to start at 450, uh, and the hotter I get it, because again, in the beginning, we want to make it golden brown and color it. But we'll start off, color the turkey, put some aluminum, and finish it slowly. The second thing we want to do is uh, the beginning process of the turkey is to get the vegetables cut, chop some herbs. Those herbs will base the turkey and so forth, and then we'll put it in the oven. You want to cut these vegetables somewhat uh, large dice because what's going to happen is a long uh, cooking time. So if you cut them too small, they're going to become mush. The bigger, the longer time you can cook with them. Here we have some parsnip. And you can see I'm putting with the skin on because again, this is going to be for the roasting of the turkey and also we'll use it to make our sauce. Mix these veggies. We could toss it with a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick. And also, the darker it gets, the more caramelization we're gonna get, which will then further flavor the sauce. Get our herbs cut. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. You, you know, some stems get in there, it's okay. Grab some rosemary, should be good. Do a little oregano, thyme. This is rosemary, and what I'm doing here is I'm peeling it. You start from the top, you're left with that, and you 
take that. See? The stems on the rosemary tend to be bitter, so try not to want to put the stems in there to get those in there. Now we're just going to chop all these herbs together. And one of the most important things about doing this is flipping them over. That's how you get an even cut. I personally don't like to stuff a turkey at any point of time. If I'm going to stuff it, it's going to be with vegetables, but I'm not going to use stuffing because a lot of times the bird may not cook all the way through. You think it's cooked and you eat the stuffing and there's cross-contamination because it's still raw inside, so you never really want to do that. Inspect him. Uh, and you can leave this in here because uh, this is going to hold the turkey together. Now here's one of the things I like to do. See these wings, a lot of people tend to cut those off. But what I do is I just bend it back so it has something to rest on. You just turn them over, and now it can rest on that. Okay. Just like this. Boom. Another thing you can do is put your finger between the skin and the meat. This way, you can put some herbs and stuff in there. I put bacon and herbs in there. You can put truffles. You know, you can get really creative. Let's put some oil. Squeeze that inside. Most important is inside the chest cavity. Right. Now this area right here, right here, it's called the oyster meat. It's the best part of the whole turkey. Right here. It's two pieces, they look like oysters. This is basically what I have in here are whole peppercorns that I've toasted to release the oils, become more intense. Don't be shy on the salt because you want to, after basting it so much, it will come off. Take some of these vegetables, toss those in there. Really push it hard so it retains its shape. You want to work smarter, not harder. And besides, we have the turkey here. We want to make sure we don't cross contaminate. That's really important as well. Looks really nice. As you can see, it's fully stuffed with the vegetables. We have the vegetables on the bottom, the roasting rack, so that the pan drippings from the skin drip onto the bottom. It cooks the vegetables. We use the vegetables that have been caramelized for hours of cooking the bird into the sauce. So, and we have seasoned it with salt and pepper. We're good to go. The oven has been preheated ready to rock and roll, nice and hot, and I'm not going to cook it uncovered right now, so we get some color. Let's put it in. 